Hi, Pat Huntoon here with Technique Chunkies. Today we're going to be making a very quick vintage stamped card with a vintage look, a sepia look, using Distress Oxide inks. We're starting with just plain white cardstock, and I am using the Ranger ink applicator to put the fossilized amber around the edges, leaving the inside lighter than the outer edges. Now I'm adding just a little bit of... Uh, vintage photo around the edges, around the outer edges, again leaving the inside undone. And the third color I'm going to be using here is Spice Marmalade. The Spice Marmalade is going to be put in between the brown and the fossilized amber. And I'm just applying it lightly at first and then I'm going to be taking some more of the amber and I'm going to be using that to blend all of those colors together. Again, I'm leaving that center a little bit lighter because that's what will make the image look like it would glow. Now we have to cure this so instead of using water I'm using Art Anthology's Gilded Gold Fairy Dust Spray and it's going to leave a beautiful sheen on it. You want to make sure that you dry this piece absolutely completely because otherwise when you put the color paper on it won't turn out properly. It'll just lift the color of the inks off. I'm stamping my uh, image with the with stays on ink and I'm just pressing firmly to make sure it goes on there and the next step that I'll be doing is using my colored pencils to just color selected areas within the image I'm using the chameleon colored pencils because they are double sided and I don't have to uh, search around for colors that match together they all match and work together so I'm just going to color selected areas of this and I'm using a very light touch I'm not going really really heavy on the coloring again if you press too hard on these pencils you take the risk of some of the ink coming off that you applied the distress oxide ink coming off so at this point I'm just going to continue coloring this and I'm going to turn the camera off for a second so that you can uh, see it completed and here's the completed image and just to add a little bit more vintage look to this, I'm using Walnut Stain Distress Oxide ink around the edges. I'm just going to put it right on the edges using that ink applicator and um, just make sure that we have a good application of that around the edges. And that's done. So I want you to take a look at how beautiful and shiny this piece is at the end. But I also did one with the Holly Bird, and you'll notice that I would use the uh, Holly Bird and I used a very light touch with those colored pencils. And so here's the greatest oak. I want to thank you for watching. Look at all that shimmer around that. You can really see it on the right side. And the Holly Bird and then the shimmer on the Holly Bird. Thanks for watching today. I hope you, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. I appreciate you being here. Take care now.